Okay, I've decided to put some outriggers on this kayak. I bought these things. I'm going to build a, these are bumpers. They're air inflatable. I'm going to build a frame for these and I'm going to adapt it so that I can also take this and switch it over to my canoe. Now I've noticed over the years that probably because of age and probably a little bit because of not exercising enough my legs aren't what they used to be getting in and out of the kayak so I'm going to give it a little extra support here I was going to use those uh, flag pole mounts but I was reading a bunch of reviews about how those things were real easy to break out in the wind so if they're easy to break in the wind they'd have to be easy to break if you put some pressure on it in the water so I'm just going to U-bolt these down and make a frame for this out here and then that should give me a little extra stability getting in and out okay I wanted to show you something right here this is tape that's called Eterna Bond. I'll put the word down here. This is just like that stuff they called Flex Seal that they first came out with. I thought it was kind of funny when they came out with those ads like it was something really new, but this has been around for RVers forever. You won't find an RVer probably without a roll of Eterna Bond. Anytime there's a leak in anything, you go and put some of this Eterna Bond on it like on your roof or something and it seals that leak right up i'm going to put that on here i'm not really worried about water getting in there i cut that hole close that's a 3 8 inch uh u-bolt there and i used a 3 8 inch drill bit here because i wanted it to be tight i had to wallow, wallow it out just a little bit so that it would get in there so I need to tighten these two things up. I've got center marks for this. I measured that out a foot on each side. It's actually going to be a little further than that when I get done with it. But uh, let me go ahead and tighten up these U-bolts and we'll get to the next part. Another reason I wanted to use these U-bolts is because it comes with this uh, little plate kind of thing. And that's going to give me a lot of strength on the other side of that plastic coming up there. I thought about looking for some of those things that just go over that electricians use. But I didn't trust it because there will be some force out here on this end. So I didn't trust that as much as I trusted having this on the other side here of that plastic. That's going to strengthen that or, you know, it's going to make it strong. And I believe it'll hold. Okay, just a yak here a second. I bought this tool. I'm probably gonna have about 50 bucks in these things, but this tool is pushing 25. But I decided to go ahead and buy this thing because I've been doing a bunch of stuff. Time for the cutter. I've been doing a bunch of stuff with PVC and this makes some real good clean cuts. Now I'm cutting off a part right now that I had a little too long. Now I did that on purpose because you can always cut one off a little bit, but you can't make it longer. So this little tool here works really good. It ratchets down through there. Gives you a real clean cut. When I would saw these off with a hacksaw, I would never get them straight. They would always be crooked. And then you'd have these little burrs all the way around it. So I'm happy to have bought this, even though it added to the money I spent. But I'll have this for the next project. So no problem. 
Okay, so this is how this is going to look when I get this done. Now this red buoy is going to bolt up here like that. I cut this and put a coupling right here. And what I'm going to do is put a bolt through here with a wing nut on it. And that way I can remove this each time when I'm transporting. Now each time I cut a part for this side, I cut the parts for the other side too. Now the I'm getting ready to take this apart and do some gluing and, and uh, bolting that float on here. But what I've done is put some lines with a marker on here so that I know where this goes back when I get the glue on it. Now, something I wanted to say, I really like living in this RV. I have uh, spent what I would call considerable time in three different states in the last three years. And if I was stuck with a house, I wouldn't have been able to do that. But I don't have a good garage <laughs> to work in or a whole lot of tools or any of that kind of stuff that a homeowner would have. The biggest thing I miss doing projects like this is being able to uh, like set this thing up on some uh, saw horses and get everything all level and somewhere I can square and all that kind of stuff. Now my eye is pretty good but it's not perfect but something that I really wanted to be square to the kayak was these things because I didn't want them to cause uh, tracking issues. I didn't want pulled left to right as I was paddling along. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and take all this apart and glue it except this right here where I'm going to put the wing nut I'm going to put it in the water first and see how this stuff sits. And if I need to do a little adjustment, I will. And then I'm going to drill the hole and put the wing nut on there. But right now, I can glue all this together. Except this right here, I can't. Okay, so let me uh, get to gluing all this. And I'll get back with you. I was about to get ahead of myself here. I need to drill four holes in this thing, these things, these end caps. Because this is how that's going to be screwed to that. Down, I want to run a bolt with a washer up through here and through this thing which is going to sit like that and then it can be glued on there so let me drill four holes here and start with the uh, bolt Okay, so this is what I have. A hole in this. And this is going to sit like that. We've got a real big washer. Goes on the back side. Bolt. That bolt goes through there. 
And I'm going to put another washer. I'm going to put a lock nut, lock washer, I mean. And then here's the nut. Which is easier said than done. There we go. There we were. I think I'm gonna have to go get some needle nose pliers. There we go. Okay, so now once once this is tightened up. I don't want to get that real tight because this is part of the float. This thing takes air, which I'm going to put a little more in. There's the air hole. Make sure you've got the air hole on the down side so that you'll be able to air it up. If your bar was up here, it'd be in the way. So here's our air hole down. I'll have this on both ends and that'll slide up there and glue so let me get along with the rest of this all right here we are for the finish of this i didn't show me gluing all this stuff together because i figured everybody knew how to put some glue on some pvc pipe there was a couple things I wanted to say. Number one, this PVC glue don't kid. When you put this on here and put these two things together, you had better get them together right the first time. I glued one of these elbows on a little bit wrong. And I mean, there was no fixing it. I had to saw it off and go buy another elbow. <laughs> So, know where you're going when you get there. Nextly, if you'll notice, I don't have this centered, which most people do. Now, I did that on purpose because I wanted this thing to be back as far as it could out of my paddle stroke. So, that shouldn't hurt anything. But anyway, what I'm doing now is I need to put a wing nut through here i brought my drill uh, once i get these where i want them and something else i did so that these wouldn't turn in these u-bolts i went ahead and put a couple of bolts through here and uh i figured i had bought some hex bolts but i uh I went ahead and thought about it and got these eye bolts. That way I can use these if I need to. If I need uh, something to hold a bungee cord, then here I've got it. If I need to tie something on here, I've got it. So I'm glad I came up with that idea. But anyway, let me mark these buoys. I'm going to move that one a little bit. It's pointed kind of a little more up than I want it. So let me mark these and drill that hole. Okay, all I'm doing today is a little paddling around to 
see how these things work. And boy, they really work. This thing is 10 times more stable than it used to be. It's unbelievable. I don't know if I could make myself tump out of here. Let's check the tracking. See if I can still get my speed. Dang, I think it tracks better than it did. Unbelievable. Win, win. Got more. More stability. And better tracking. How can you beat that? Okay, so that's it on the stabilizers if anybody's thinking about it I'm going to paddle around here a little while and see if I can find a good fishing hole for next week so everybody take it easy and enjoy